Michael Richards joins me now straight into a kill. It's the word of the week, Makarata. Now, a lot of talk from the Prime Minister and others that it just means a treaty or a treaty process, but it involves a spear and a bit of a penalty. It's a lot nastier than they want us to understand, isn't it? Well, the origin of it certainly was that, because it began life as a Yolongu word from Arnhem Land, and it, it had all those sort of complications that involved in that local tribal society. But when it was chosen to come into English by Nugget Coombs back in 1979, uh, it just meant treaty. And it really, nowadays, just means treaty, or as they now sometimes say, in order to soften the expression, agreement-making. But So all of that background, uh, we borrow words in, into English from all kinds of languages. We're not speaking Yolongu, we're speaking English. We borrowed it to make it an English word and as an English word it really now means treaty but it means treaty in that really strong sense. So every time they mention it just think treaty because that's what they're talking about. All right, let's go to the other one. Lived experience because I thought it Every experience was lived. I mean, I, I don't understand the qualification. Hey, look, it's a bit of psychobabble. It's a bit of trendy psychobabble. Uh, you, you'll find the management consultants and people... And the, the people who will want to criticise literature because the language is now sexist or gendered or something or other, uh, it's from their lived experience. Lived experience is a bit of psychobabble that means personal experience. That's all it means. Now, personal experience is important. We are more affected by personal experience than anything else. Uh, the great Hugh McKay, the communication psychologist, said to me once, he said, Kel, most political advertising is wasted because people are actually persuaded by personal experience or, to use the psychobabble, lived experience. Mind you, if Hugh is right, it means there may be millions of wasted dollars on advertising for the voice campaign. <laughs>